Okay, next movie, and it's the Rugrats movie. We cover the waterfront, don't we? <laughs> it's based, of course, on the popular Nickelodeon cable channel series that looks at the world literally from the ground-level point of view of toddlers. In the movie version, the Pickles family and its kids have to deal with a new addition, an infant boy named Dylan, nicknamed Dill. Get it? Dill Pickles. Uh, Dill can be pretty tough to get along with, huh? But sometimes little brothers, they, they aren't everything you'd hope they'd be. That's why big brothers have got to have faith. And one day, you'll see. A staple of the TV show and the film, both aimed at a young audience, is toilet talk. A baby is extra fancy. A baby poops in his panties. The main story has the Rugrats crawling away from home and encountering adventure in the woods. But no interesting characters there, just some runaway circus monkeys and a wolf. Now, I'm about seven times the target age for this picture, but not that long ago, as a younger dad, I got a kick out of watching the TV show with my pre-teenage daughters. I think the Rugrats movie is not quite at the level of the TV series. Well, you know, I'm seven times the target age, too. I, li I thought it was bright. I thought it was lively. I thought it was fun within certain limits. I can't recommend it to anyone over the Rugrats target demographic. I really can't. This is not a movie uh, for, for anyone who doesn't already watch Rugrats on television. Yeah. I have a feeling for them it's going to be just fine, and they're going to like it a lot because it has that kind of simplistic, uh, child-oriented poo and pee based humor that they just love well okay there's a there's a hearty recommendation <laughs> that's not gonna that's not gonna pop up in any quote ad you're gonna see <laughs> has the poo and pee type material that you like when we come back 